So I'm afraid of heights, like really afraid. And it's just so ironic that for someone who's so afraid of heights, the one thing that I really wanted in terms of bucket list is I wanted to ride a hot air balloon. In fact, I even thought I want to get married on a hot air balloon. And then it was about December 31st, 2015. The desire to ride a hot air balloon was so much greater than the fear. And I figured this is my chance. So that was in Bagan in Myanmar. If you ever researched about Bagan, hot air balloons are the first to come up. Now from the different hot air balloon operators, we chose to ride balloons over Bagan. And to catch the sunrise, the first sunrise of 2015, we had to be there around 4.30 a.m. But once I was up there, what started out as panic slowly turned to this unbelievable serenity. Now the pilot, who was also our tour guide, was telling us about the prehistoric temples scattered on the ground. It was so surreal, peaceful stillness while floating on air. You know, I took so many photos of what my eyes saw, but I had actually only taken one photo of myself, which I shared on Instagram. And I look at it and I'm like, whoa, my face looks so calm. And even if I already knew deep inside, seeing my face that was fully realizing I had faced my ultimate fear. So that was the start of the year, and I couldn't have thought of a better way to start the year than to launch a blog that would show you guys all the travels I've done and hopefully to make you guys push past your fears, your comfort zone, and just be inspired to pursue your dreams. <laughs> Isn't that so ironic? Because it took me two years to pursue my dreams. And it wasn't even because I finally found the confidence because I was so afraid to be judged. I was so afraid that it had to be perfect. It had to look like this. It had to look like Anthony Bourdain's no, is it no reservations? Um, um, what's his name show again? <laughs> I forgot the name. The point is I, I wanted to look a certain way and that just stopped me and I had found every excuse to just not pursue with it. And then something happened. You know, they say great changes happen when tragic events occur. So my brother passed away um, three weeks ago. It was so sudden, like never got to say goodbye, never had closure. I still don't have closure to be honest. And he was the one who was helping me with this website and I feel so bad that <sighs> I waited so long and now he's not here to see how it panned out <laughs> don't worry guys this is a good ending <laughs> you know you I realized that if you want to do something you think you have time, but maybe you don't. And don't wait. Don't wait too long. Because this is exactly what's going to happen. Where the person or the thing or the motivation that you have to pursue a dream won't be there anymore. Or at least in this case, my brother. But that's okay. Because now, ironically, the one thing I wanted to do is to help you guys and push you guys to push for your dreams and move out of your comfort zone. In the end, I'm the one taking that advice. So this is my very first episode and I'm already crying. <laughs> and I promise it won't be that way for the rest, but I'm still grieving, but I'm here and I need to do this and I want to do this. So I want you guys to get on that hot air balloon with me and take this journey with me wherever it will lead. So rather than trying to help you, maybe you guys try and help me. Let's help each other to go wherever it is that our dreams will lead us.
Sweating to death. Akat na ba? Kaya. Yeah. Kaya. Okay.